Hello, and welcome to, I'm not even sure what I'm going to call it, but um, you'll definitely see it in the description, but we are essentially today cleaning out all of my shelves, wiping them down, and decorating for Christmas, because it is time. It is already the middle of December, and I have not decorated a single thing on these shelves. I'm also very like hyperactive today. I have a lot of energy and I'm I'm sorry. It's distracting. It's snowing outside, like a lot, a lot snowing. And um it's just distracting me. It's like falling. And there's a bird. Um there's a bird. Yes, Vivian, there's a bird outside. It's supposed to be outside. I'm sorry. Welcome to my inner thoughts that are not always in my head. So the plan is to get all the books out, then wipe it down, and then sort the books by genre. So I'm gonna make like a dark academia pile and like a historical romance pile and like Christmas romance pile because apparently I have a lot of those now. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna put them all on the shelf. Um, I'm not sure how this will go, but I'm pretty sure it will be fine. So. Um, we're probably gonna get rid of this whole like just romance shelf because the romance shelf is the only thing that really is organized um at the top i used to only have like hard covers and um now i have sports romances so these are all hockey romances and then the middle shelf is like lgbtqia plus books and the bottom shelf is just random stuff basically um so there's already there's not oh. I thought I had this in control, but I don't. So now we're gonna... I'm gonna have to change the camera as well. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place today. Um, but we're gonna have to change the camera because you cannot see the top row of the shelves. And that's an issue. Um, so I'm gonna maybe have to push you on my desk because right now we're all pushed into the corner of my room. You're sitting right in front of my biopsychology book uh, that I bought and never read. But um, much like all the other books on my shelf, right? But either way, we're gonna clear out the shelves now, and you're gonna watch me do it. I'm probably gonna make this like a time lapse because it's not that interesting, right? Cleaning off the books. You never know, but I don't think it is. And we're moving. Oh my goodness. You're also like on my ring light because I need light. Is this better? Oof. Like, is it better? <gasps> it is better. It's not better for me, because now you can't see the bottom row, can you? Huh, this is gonna put Okay, so I believe this is the perfect setup where you can see the top shelf, the bottom shelf, my laundry basket, everything you need to see, and me. I'm here as well. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I was actually planning on counting all the books, but I'm not really motivated to see how many books I have, because it's just gonna like show me how much of an addiction this really is. So we're just, we're just taking them out of the shelves now. I'm not even sure where to start. I should probably, I should probably start with all of the books. You can't even see because I'm on the corner. With all the books that I, that I got in the hall. This is already not going great. Can we please talk about that books are extremely heavy and I was struggling so much with taking all of these books out of the shelves. And I mean, I don't like work out, so of course it was heavy, but why are they so heavy? How concerning is it that I have a collection of tiny daggers? Like tiny daggers that are pretty and an actual dagger that's like ugh, in there. It's not sharp, it's like, it's, but I mean, it's pointy. It's not concerning. It's props, right? Moving on. Maybe, maybe I should start with putting like all of the props somewhere safe. Because these are like porcelain. And I don't want them to like break. We have the essentials. I am royalty now, you cannot tell me otherwise. Maybe you can actually tell me otherwise. This thing is super uncomfortable. How do people do it? Like, 
I'm sorry, I'm like talking to you off right now. But how did people wear crowns? They had wigs! And that was like protecting their head. Ugh. Okay. This is taking way too long with me talking to you, so we're time lapsing this stuff. Okay, I didn't know I had this many books. This literally took me a while just to take all of the books out of the shelves. But okay, while we're at it, um, I want to tell you about my weird dream because um, I had a dream that I was at a friend's house and I haven't seen her in ages. And I was there and I fell asleep, I have to tell you this, I fell asleep with my AirPods in and uh, when I was dreaming, I was not able to hear anything except Taylor Swift. And so I was like, okay, I'm deaf now. I, I've accepted this because I'm able to still hear like Taylor Swift in my head. And it was so confusing because I was trying to communicate that I couldn't hear anybody in my dream and I was so scared. And then I woke up and I realized, okay, I have noise cancelling headphones in and that is the entire reason why I wasn't able to hear anything. But it was so fun because obviously that sort of like correlated with my dream. And um, it's just, I think it's incredible what dreams can do. And this is what dreams are made of. I'm sorry. Um, I'm still like this. I still like this. Why? Pretty empty, huh? That was one of the lamest sentences I've ever said. But the shelves are empty now. I am done, but I have to show you this. Well, how do I do this? There's, there's book stuff everywhere. Wow, this is close. I'm gonna play a little bit. Let me show you. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. R-I-D-I-C-U-L-O-U-S. It's ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Now give my kingdom for just one kiss. Did I mention? Yeah, okay. I got it. We got it. We all got it, Vivian. We all got it. I'm going to quickly wrap down the shelves and then we're going to start putting them back, I guess. But since the wiping process of the bookshelves is pretty lame, I'm going to see you all in a second. I'm going to sit right here. I, I intentionally left this space so that I could sit here. I don't think it's enough space. Oh, it is. It's enough space for me. Ugh. Not really. But, um, hi. This is the amount of books that I have. And I wiped down the shelves. And now we're gonna go... Well, we're gonna see what I do. This amount of books is making me scared and I have no idea how I am supposed to put them in there because I don't like, okay, so here's my deal. So previously I used to have the small shelf as um, the romance shelf and that was okay because I had a significantly higher amount of just general fantasy books and like mystery and thrillers, crime, whatever, but now I have a lot more romance books since I had my, like, um, shopping spree where I bought a significant amount of holiday romances. So I will see you guys once I have figured out how to do this. I'm like the thinker pose right now, but I'm thinking. Right. It is now significantly later in the day, and um, it's not significantly later, it's been like a minute. But I've decided that the easiest way to deal with this is to just put the books on the shelf and see if I like it that way. And if I don't like it that way, we'll change it. That's the plan. That's what I'm going with. And I don't know how to do this yet. I don't even know what I'm like supposed to say during this like book organizing thing, but maybe I'm trying to talk about the fact that um, I struggled a lot with this. I didn't know what on earth I was doing. Um, mostly just because I have so many books and trying to order um, especially books that I haven't read yet into like categories um, it's really hard and then there's books that I don't know which category they belong in because they're technically like a little fantasy but I would put them in like romance because that's the main plot line so um, but then I actually realized that nobody cares um, and nobody's gonna judge me for it, so I just uh, did my best and 
yeah, I mean, you, you can see the outcome. It's, it's pretty nice. I like it. I'm happy with it. I did it. The phone's crooked again, like this. Now I did it. The only, oof, I still have to decorate. Because this is what it looks like without decorations, only a few like fake plants. But where do I put this? Because is it romance? Is it fantasy? I have four of these and I'm not sure where to put all of them. Now I have like this whole pile of decorations and we're gonna put them somewhere where I see space. Oh, this isn't, this isn't cleaned up nicely. Sorry. It's my Christmas books. Here we go. Now it's prettier. Okay. So we have this. There's others. I also, oh my goodness, what is that? <laughs> I remember now. I was, I just wanted to do it like this. And then I have these. Should be folding over. Oh, quick. Put them on the book stand. Okay, so this shelf is very empty. And, um, okay, so this shelf is very empty. And, um, I don't know what to put in there because the other books of the series are. Oh no, we're cheating. We're cheating, you guys. The best way to make it appear like you have more books than you actually do, not that I would need that because I have a lot, is to take the book sleeve off of the book. This usually works very nicely like this. We do it the old fashioned way. Wow! Is to put the book sleeve in the shelf, on the, on the shelf uh, by itself. Because this, this is looking really empty. And they're on my TBR card, so I can't actually put them on there right now. But they can go in there without the book. And then something can go here as like decoration or something. You never know. Okay. These are going back on the cart. Um, yes. I did it. I think, oh no. Okay. Join me in placing another cup somewhere. This has to go here. Oh, where? Um, I have a severe space shortage. Which is definitely not because I have too many books. It's because I don't know. Okay, let's just put it here for now. Not for now, this is for, for a long time. Okay, so I put some Christmas decorations up. I wasn't sure if I was going to put more. But then I decided, okay, no, this is enough. It is now a quarter to four, so it's getting dark outside. And uh, I'm going to quickly show you all of the shelves very, very fast. So that you get what I'm planning to do, what I'm doing. Okay, so we are now in front of my tiny shelf. It's this high. Uh, the top hasn't changed much, but we have historical romance on this shelf, and then we have like V.E. Schwab books, because I don't have that many. I just have The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue, which is basically also like historical romance-esque thing. And I mean, this book, I don't know where else to put it because I haven't read it yet and I don't know what it's about, so I just put it there for the sake of being there. Then we have science fiction in this shelf. I was surprised to see how much science fiction I actually own. Um, I'm not sure if the ones we're meant to find actually categorizes as science fiction. And Cryer's War is... Cryer's War is science fiction. I mean, she's a robot. So yeah, but uh, science fiction here with the Shadow Me series and an arc that I still haven't read. And then we have um, Crooked Kingdom, Shadow and Bow, and these sort of things. Why did I not say Six of Crows, but I said Crooked Kingdom? Nobody knows. Um, so we got those. And we, then we have Fable, which doesn't fit anywhere else. So this is just like a you're the rest, you go there shelf. Because I didn't know where else to put them. Because Fable isn't... It is fantasy, but it's very, very like light-hearted fantasy. It's not like hardcore fantasy. You get what I mean? Okay, we're going on to the next shelf and I'm gonna do this in like little steps because this is hard. To film because I'm tiny, but on the top shelf we have romance books. The shelf beneath that we have fairy tale retellings. These are fairy tale retellings 
Below that we have Greek mythology retellings. I'm pretty sure I have more of them somewhere. I just, I, I was done, okay? I didn't want to anymore. And then below that we have the Sarah J Mass shelf. So I used to have two of those, but now I only have one because um, I'm not willing to offer more shelf space to her. But then again, I pre-ordered the matching dust jackets to uh, the A Court of Thorns and Roses ones for the hardcovers of Thorn of Glass. I don't have the hardcovers yet, so I'm going to have to get the hardcovers in the new year. And uh, the dust jacket as well. Okay, so we're down here now. Uh, this is a shelf that has fantasy that sort of has a space in the real world. So these are all in somewhat way, shape or form connected to the real world. For example, the Cruel Prince, and um, that's in the real world. And then below that we have Christmas romance and graphic novels, which is um, sad, but I also put my, a lot of little, little Christmas decorations on here. And then down here we have uh, mostly the whole uh, Caraval universe and these two books because um, I didn't have anywhere else to put them again. So we're moving on to the next shelf from the bottom because I want to sit down. But Okay, so for these bottom shelves, I'm going to scoot over right here. Um, we have incredible high fantasy books. Um, I'm calling all these high fantasy books because um, they are Pride of the Orange Tree, my absolute favorite. Love it. God, love it. I, oh, I love it. And then down here, I have Dark Romance. Now, I also put a shade of, like, a touch of darkness and neon gods with this. I know that this is technically like a Greek mythology retelling. So, um, I'm not sure where to put it, but otherwise this would have been like the only like dark romance I had together with like Hooked. And I'm not sure because I haven't read these what they are actually, but I put them here. And then over here we have Colleen Hoover books and the Midnight Library for one for an unknown reason. Down here are all my Cassie Clare books and again fantasy books. Then here is my new LGBTQIA plus shelf. Did I forget anybody? Not sure. Um, but they're all here. Then this is another one of my fantasy shelves, as well as the bottom one, which is also a fantasy shelf. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. The top shelf in both of these have all my special editions, except for Empire of the Vampire, which technically belongs in this vampire shelf which is why Twilight has such a special place on this shelf, which is um, hurting my heart, but still, I have it here. And um, then this is Sports Romance and Red Queen, which does not make swell because Red Queen is incredible and Sports Romance is okay, but um, that's just my personal opinion. More Fantasy, which is just there. Over here we have... Um, no, I already talked about this one, but this is my Dark Academia shelf. Also not my favorite genre, so it's not there. But what I really like is the Stalking Deck the Ripper series, so that's here. And then we have uh, the Crime Mystery shelf. Another... No, this is my Witches shelf, so this is all the books that have to do with witches and my YA romances, which are not as many as I thought there would be. And that was it. That was it, you guys. It was it! Okay, so first of all, ignore whatever this is on my face. I have no idea. Did I get stung by a mosquito while I was here? Um, or maybe I hit myself in the face with a book. That was That's probably more logical. So um, that is everything for today. That's everything. It's very late. Um, it is about four o'clock now. It, this has taken me a very long time. And... Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of the evening, but probably read. I was actually thinking of doing a readathon, but it's four o'clock and I'm not going to read until four o'clock tomorrow because I have a presentation to do. We'll see what I will do. But I will see you tomorrow and um, we're just going to see each other. I will not see you all tomorrow. Why would I say that? But I'll see you all next time. And until then... Goodbye and have a nice day. Oh, 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 and what do you think of the shelves? I mean, I'm kind of proud with a lot of things, but then again, I'm kind of disappointed about not, like other things. And I'm still not sure where to place some books. 
and I don't like the fact this middle shelf there is like just the book spines and I actually want to face like a book out like outwards with the like cover I'm not sure if that's possible but yeah I'm probably um not even in frame anymore because I'm a tiny bean like I'm I'm not even that small you guys I'm not that small I'm like five three which sounds small, yeah. But I cannot reach the top shelf without a chair. It's impossible. I can't. But I think I'm going to sit down now and I'm going to read some Christmas romance because I'm in the mood for that. And then I'm going to clean up later because I don't want to. Maybe I'm going to eat lunch now. It, it's four o'clock. What am I doing? I haven't eaten in hours. Let's eat. My therapist will be so proud of me. Okay, goodbye! <laughs>